My name's Jimmy C, that's my artist name. I'm an artist, a painter, and most of my practice is balanced between working on the street and in the studio. Being involved on this project, it meant that I wanted to revisit the life of Walt Disney, try to get back to the essence of who he was and what he was trying to do as a person. And it's easy to forget what he achieved and that his stuff was actually kind of cutting edge in its time. First cartoons ever to use sound, dared to make a feature length cartoon. All his colleagues thought he was mad and said, no, this is going to be a failure. He had that perseverance to take risks, so I can respect him as, as an artist in that way. It's fascinating to see how the character of uh, Mickey Mouse has evolved and I wanted to go back to the more raw Mickey, the earlier works. My work here is probably about roughly about 1940s Mickey, one of the fairly early phases of how he looked. I chose that style because that's the work that I can identify with. I was looking for something that I felt that could connect to my work, to my style, what I wanted to do, which was incorporate the spheres or the idea that Mickey might be atomizing. This one seemed a good position for that. It's a very kind of uh, action and playful posture, you know, like he's jumping out of the canvas and always like almost like throwing out these spheres. So I thought it could work well. I realized that I could bring a new life to the Mickey image. Mickey Mouse is, you know, such an iconic character, perhaps one of the most iconic cartoon character ever. So I'm, you know, really happy with how this work has come out and I'm happy that I've been able to contribute to that uh, tradition.